Hello and welcome to the Photo Memoirs. My name is Don. I'm a photographer based in Seoul, South Korea. And today we're discussing some of your biggest challenges with photography. So if you don't mind, before we get started, leave a comment below and tell me what is the biggest challenge that you're having. Whatever it is, I'd like to help out and share with you some tips that can help you to overcome this challenge. So when I left this question on Facebook, I was met with a variety of different answers. And one of the answers that I got was no camera. That was uh, a common theme among uh, many of the comments is I don't have a DSLR camera. I don't have a camera, I don't have gear. And if it wasn't that, it was upgrading to better gear or upgrading to a better camera. This, of course, is certainly a challenge and one that I can understand. When I first got into photography, I first started out with just, of course, my phone. And I came to Korea and I started to learn, uh, explore and go around and I got into taking a lot of pictures. And for a while, I had absolutely no camera, just the phone in my pocket. And that's what I would use to go and take pictures. In fact, at that time, actually, I wasn't even sure about getting into photography or whatnot, but I knew that I wanted to have, you know, some type of camera and that that would be just much, much better. I would have better quality images. And you know that was just something that I was starting to get into. And it wasn't for a while. It took a couple of years before I bought my first DSLR camera. Right now, right, it's just a starter camera. It was uh, the, the Rebel T3 and, or other no, otherwise known as the Canon 600D. And at the time I bought it, it was it was about $500, $600, I think, for a whole set. So it's uh, not the most expensive camera and certainly not the cheapest. But still, uh, for a starter DSLR camera, it was a pretty good investment, I believe. But still, it took me a while before I was able to purchase this first camera. Now it kind of just looks like a toy. And I kept using this same exact camera for so, so long. Like it was all falling apart here and it was just not very good. It takes like a minute to focus on something. So it's just not very good. I probably shot way, 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 way past the amount of photos that, you know, this camera could survive. And still, it, it, was, it was such a terrible time for me. And it took a long time before I could actually afford to upgrade and get a better camera. And so I know that it's a challenge. And using maybe your phone, if you don't have a DSLR or you don't have a camera yet, using your phone, you meet with so many different challenges. And then, of course, when you do upgrade, maybe to a entry level camera, you'll probably long to get your hands on that better camera or that better lens or something like that. But you know what? What I've come to realize is you have to make do with the tools that you have. You have to make do with the tools that you have. You know, if you don't have that new camera, if you don't have that new lens, if you don't have any camera at all, you can still learn so much about photography with the tools that you have available to you. So whether that's just your phone, whether that's, you know, an entry-level camera, whatever it is, make do and learn as much as you can Practice as much as you can about photography with those tools. And later, when you have a chance to upgrade, you'll just be that much more prepared. And you'll be able to take much better photographs with that new gear, with that new camera, having learned what you did before being able to buy it. So that's my advice to you. 
What you can do, do it. You know, don't say, oh, you know what? I don't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that. Do the best what you can with what you have. So I was talking with somebody on Facebook the other day, and they were saying, you know what? I really, really want to buy a camera. You know, I'm really interested in kind of seeing how people are live. And I, and I think taking their photographs really, you know, gets into the soul, basically. And so this person's very, very, very passionate about photography. They really, really want to get that camera. They're saving up. And she sent me three different pictures. She has a tissue box that she's saving up. She put a whole bunch of coins in. And then she showed me two other pictures, which was another jar of coins and another big tin of other coins. And she's, she was showing me, you know what? I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving all of this. As soon as I'm able to, I'm going to go and get that camera. And I think that is amazing. You know, it's, you know, when you don't have a lot of money, it's important that if something uh, you know, if you're so passionate about photography or something else, you know, instead of buying, you know, this toy, instead of buying, you know, this something that you don't need, take that $2, take that $1 and stick it in a jar until you can afford that upgraded camera. So, you know, if it's a dollar a day that you're, you're just storing away, putting away, putting away, instead of going out and buying, you know, a Coke on the side in this in the convenience store take that two dollars take that one dollar just stick it in a can and leave it there until you know you've done that 400 times or 500 times whatever and then you can go out and you can pick up a at least a starter camera a starter dslr camera in most parts of the world it's not going to be the best it's not going to be the the highest end camera in the world it's not but it's going to be at least better than your phone. So first, just do what you can with your phone. And then, you know, just, just save, save a little bit, even if it's a little bit at a time. Keep saving, keep saving. But in the meantime, learn what you can, practice what you can with your phone. And then when you've got enough saved up, you can take that and you can get yourself a starter camera. And then again, if you get yourself a starter camera, maybe then you can try to do some small jobs where you can take somebody's photo for $5, $10. You know, if it's just a friend or a family that you know that could use some pictures, start learning by taking their photos. And then you can save up that $5 or $10 or whatever you make with that starter camera. Again, put that money away. And then when you can, you can upgrade. You can buy yourself maybe one cheap lens, right? That's an upgrade. That's That will be great for your photography. And then you keep doing the same thing. Maybe you're getting better and better and better. You know, you can charge a little bit extra money for taking somebody's photos or doing some small jobs with your camera. You take that money, you put it away. And before you know it, you'll be able to upgrade and you'll get into doing photography to the degree that you want to. So that is my advice to you. So if you haven't already, drop me your comment below and tell me what is your biggest challenge with photography right now. And I'm gonna come back, I'll share some more advice and tips on how you can overcome that challenge. And also do me a favor, tell me your advice. Say that I'm saying to you, I can't, buy my new camera. I, I don't have a camera. I don't have gear. What can I do? Can you tell me what advice you'd give me if I'm in that situation? And maybe some of the other friends that are struggling with that, they can also get your advice in the comment section below as well.